Hello, so I'm going to go over how to create a classroom library and create a check in and check out system using Google Forms. So I like to start off by creating a Google Form. So I just come up with a title, um, email address, name. If I was doing this and it was just tied to um, our PLSD accounts, I would go to settings and I'd click this on. And then it won't ask students email because it will auto populate. Um, since I'm going to be creating this for everybody, I am going to leave it open so everybody can see it and have access to that. So the first thing you're going to do is go to add-ons. If you do not have check it out, you need to go ahead and add it to your add-ons. To do that, you go to the three dots. You're going to go to add-ons. And all you have to do is type in check it out. It is the second one. This first one, for some reason, is not working. Um, so I've been using the second one and it's been working just fine. So again, add-ons. Now I'm going to go to the check it out that it's been installed. You're going to add an edit question set. This is where you're going to decide what you want to do. Um, are you going to do check boxes? Are students going to choose from a list? Is it going to be multiple choice? Um, are they going to text with multiple choices? So you've got to decide what type of question you're going to do. I'm going to do checkbox because normally I'm fine with students checking out more than one book. Um, if you only want them to check out one item at a time, I do multiple choice. Um, and then I'm going to keep what it says here. So when it everything's checked out, it's just going to say all items are checked out. You can customize this. When everything is checked in, it's going to say all items are checked in. And I'm going to go ahead and add this. Okay, and here it is, and I begin to enter book one, book two, book three, maybe you wanted to do pencils, book four, book five. Maybe someone had something checked out already, you could add an option there. So I'm gonna go ahead and view this as a student. I'm gonna type in my email address. I'm going to check out book one and I'm going to hit submit. Do not make those two questions down here um, required because if they're checking in a book, they're probably not checking out an item. So just make sure you leave those as not required. And then we can go ahead and if I refresh, it does take a couple minutes. So make sure students um, are waiting, but you can see that book one is now checked out. So now if I go in and I am ready to check out another book, I just type in my name. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. So I show you one more time. I'm gonna check out book two. Submit. Again, remember you have to do, you do have to give it a couple minutes um, to refresh. But now it's down here and it's checked in. So if I wanna check in an item, <clears throat> you can see it is checked in. So it just goes in that flow. What I like to do, just so I like to know where everything is, is I like to open up this spreadsheet. And I might turn on notifications and be alerted every single day when there's changes that have been made. But I can say, okay, Stephanie no longer has book one. I can see she checked it out on this day and she checked it in. So that is no longer missing. And then you just begin to highlight as students turn in your material. And that way you know for sure what's still out, what's not in. You could also create, um, this might actually be easier, create a list of items still out. And you could just do a simple yes, no, yes. Um, and then you can filter it. And I can see that one item, um, oh, this was supposed to be this one. One item is not checked in. So filtering it might be easier for you depending on what you wanna do. Colors would work too, um, but then I can quickly see and go, okay, um, you still have this book and it's the end of the year, it's the end of the quarter and I need to get it back. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.